Well, I've been working in CLL for some years, and we now have a lot of biological insights into how CLL develops and the fact that it exists in two forms, which are quite separate and probably respond to therapy in different ways. With one of them, the unmutated CLL, requiring therapy in general, uh, and the other one, the mutated subset, not so much. So it's very useful to have a prognostic indicator of that power, which we described in 1999 and which has been now validated and up-to-date analysis puts the mutation level of the immunoglobulin genes as the top prognostic indicator. So it's very useful for clinicians and for patients, indeed, to know which subset they belong to. So it's actually two diseases. I'm going to talk about the other aspect only briefly, which is that the immunoglobulin, which is the B cell receptor, um, which defines the two subsets, is actually also a target for therapy. And many trials are being carried out now which are targeting the B-cell receptor with various inhibitors. And those over several years now have shown very good effects in patients. So I'll be talking about the biology of CLL, the fact that it's two diseases, the way I think it develops from normal B-cells, uh, what occurs during the pathogenesis, and the various aspects of the biology of the cell. There are many new theories about how CLL develops, and I'll be giving a personal view of how I think it develops, which uh, will draw on much of the new finding that's being described in the literature. The unmutated CLL probably comes from the natural antibody repertoire. These B cells and the IgM that they produce are part of the innate immune response to pathogens. And pathogens such as Streptococcus pneumoniae, etc., will stimulate the cells from the natural antibody repertoire and will be recognized by the secreted IgM and dealt with. But the natural antibody repertoire also reacts with autoantigens and will pick up apoptotic cells and various forms of cell debris and remove them. So there is a specificity in this natural antibody repertoire for both pathogens and for autoantigens. And this kind of uh, function is reflected in unmutated CLL. And we have a molecular evidence that CLL, unmutated CLL, comes from these cells, from other people and from our own work. So I'll talk about that. Um, then what the relationship is with the monoclonal B cell lymphocytosis, where it seems as though for the low count MBL, that gives rise to mutated CLL, not to unmutated CLL. So again, there are two different origins for these two different diseases.